Recap in minutes, in today's video, we will be enjoying an action thriller film, entitled State of Siege, Temple Attack. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins in Jammu and Kashmir, Kupwara, where terrorists kidnap the minister's daughter, Mibuba Noor. Major Hanat Singh and Captain Bibek lead the National Security Guards on a mission to save her. After confirming their target's location, the NSG immediately informs their base and asks for backup. Unfortunately, before the strike team reaches the other soldiers, the terrorists spot them. Ismail, the terrorist in charge in the area, receives orders about the army coming towards them. After that, he's also told not to wake up Noor because their boss will be the one to decide her fate if she will stay alive or not. On the other hand, Singh informs Colonel Nagar that the terrorists spot their strike team, so he asks permission for him to go. Despite the colonel ordering him to wait for the second team, he still goes in. He then tells Baikek to stay in their positions, but Baikek and the rest of the soldiers follow him. The Indian army silently kills the terrorists and manages to get to Noor. After a while, the terrorists come together with their boss, Abu Hamza, and Bilal Naiku, his right-hand man. The soldiers fight the terrorists in an attempt to catch Hamza alive. Because of the gunfight, Naiku panics and runs the other way causing the soldiers to capture him. On the other hand, Singh and Baikek get to Hamza. But, when they're about to arrest him, one of the terrorists shoots Baikek to death and injures Singh, causing Hamza to escape. Nine months later, in NSG campus, Singh suffering from PTSD, wakes up from a bad dream about what happened to Baikek. After that, he goes to the training field and sets aside his weakness to focus on being physically strong for the next operation. Meanwhile, in the terrorist camp, the terrorists are also training for an attack in Gujarat in a few days. On September 22nd, at the NSG headquarters, the colonel calls Singh and Major Samar, who's having a baby tomorrow, and informs them that Chief Minister Choksi's life is in danger. The Chief Minister and other business leaders will be part of a business event in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, which they think will be the target of a terrorist attack. The colonel then tells them to put together a team to go with him to Gujarat and wants both of them to be on it. However, Samar expects to be a father the next day, so he orders Singh to do the task instead. Two days later, the NSG arrives at their hotel and immediately consults the hotel's security about the premises and their security practices. Singh then instructs the soldiers to coordinate with the local police, position themselves, and set up a group communication line. On the other side, the four terrorists, Iqbal, Harif, Omar, and Farooq, tasked with the assault, arrive in Gujarat. The colonel then meets the chief minister, introduces their team, and tells him they will be in charge of securing the safety of the place. Meanwhile, in Krishnadam Mandur, the terrorists attack by firing at anyone they see and planting bombs at the temple's entrance. Then, they receive a call from their boss ordering them to stop the killings and keep the people inside as hostages instead. Back in the hotel, the NSG learns about the attack in the temple, so they immediately take the chief minister and isolate him. The four terrorists split into two groups. Iqbal and Harif will go to the exhibit, while Fakur and Omar will go to the auditorium. In the auditorium, the people inside, including children, turn off the lights and hide behind the chairs. But when the terrorists arrive, they turn on the screen, causing everyone inside to panic and become hostages. On the other side, Samar, who's in the ward waiting for his wife's delivery, receives a call from their headquarters and orders him to report immediately. Back in the temple, Iqbal tells Farouk and Omar that they're now on the second phase of their mission, killing one person every half an hour. While the terrorists are attacking Gujarat, their camp in Pakistan is monitoring them. Farooq calls Hamza to inform them that the second phase of their mission will begin. Farooq instructs Vijay, a hostage, to go to the rooftop where everyone outside the temple, including the media and local police, would see them. He then urges Vijay to announce his name to the people and shoots him. Shortly after, Hamza calls the Prime Minister to give his demands. Then, the Prime Minister transfers the message to the Chief Minister, who's held for safety by the NSG. Then, the chief minister tells the NSG that Hamza wants them to free Naku and that after he crosses the border, the terrorists will free all the hostages and surrender. Still, until then, they will kill one hostage every half an hour. Singh immediately disagrees and tells the chief minister that once they free Naku, the terrorist will still kill all the hostages. The chief minister then tells him that the central government is the one to decide. In the meantime, he discusses with the colonel about their ground strategy. The colonel tells him that rapid action force and local police are already there and will handle the situation until the second NSG team arrives. Singh then tells the colonel that their second team will take hours to arrive and that the terrorists will not stop killing people. 
He also points out that the local police and rapid action force has no experience dealing with such situation, so NSG must engage now. Moreover, Singh informs the colonel that his team is the one who captured Neku. The chief minister tells the colonel to let them go since the hostages need more protection than him. So, the colonel orders Singh to take half of the team but reminds him to stay in the parameter. After that, the second team, including Samar, departs for Gujarat in the tactical airbase. At the same time, the attack is already all over the news, and the people are waiting for either the prime minister's or the chief minister's statement. After half an hour, they're about to execute another hostage when Iqbal informs Farooq and Omar that the NSG will fulfill their demands. Farooq then decides to let go of the older man, supposedly the next one to be killed. When the older man leaves, he thanks Farooq for not killing him, but this changes Farooq's mind, and he kills him together with his wife. On the other hand, Singh's team is on their way to the temple when the colonel informs him that the prime minister decides to fulfill the terrorist demands. When the rapid action force tries to get through the temple's gate, they're surprised as a bomb goes off and injures many people waiting outside. Meanwhile, the father of one of the hostages calls to inform his son that the NSG is coming to save him. Since the terrorists confiscated the hostages' phones, Iqbal hears the news. Iqbal responds and asks about the commandos, which shocks the father. He then orders him to report to them every action the authorities will take, or they will kill his son if he disobeys their orders. After that, Iqbal tells Omar and Farooq to stay alert because the NSG is already inside, so Farooq goes outside to check and sees the NSG nearby. Iqbal then orders Farooq to keep an eye on the NSG but not to engage. Fortunately, the NSG, together with the local police and rapid action force, manages to get inside. When two hostages escape, Singh orders Captain Rohit Baga to get them, then Farooq starts to fire. Farooq then runs back to the auditorium, and two soldiers follow him. The soldiers bait him with a grenade when he has nowhere to run. Thinking it will explode, he goes for cover, but to his surprise, Singh is already in front and kills him. After that, the two soldiers manage to get inside the auditorium, cornering Omar. Omar takes a hostage as his human shield. Luckily, Singh manages to get behind him. They then inform the rest of the NSG that the two targets are neutralized, and the hostages are saved. While in an undisclosed location, the NSG prepare to release Neku. During the process, they let him talk to Hamza about his release. On the other hand, Iqbal calls Hamza and informs him that Farooq and Omar are dead. Hamza tells him they're letting Neku go and orders him to take action to stop the NSG until Neku gets to the Pakistan border. Iqbal then takes Sejal, an injured hostage, and wraps a bomb around her. Meanwhile, the NSG continues securing the premises and saving every hostage they see. Sejal comes out, and Captain Khan comes to rescue her. Despite Singh ordering him to stop, he continues and gets burned by the bomb that explodes. When Singh comes to save him, Iqbal shoots him. Later that evening, the second team arrives, and Samar meets Singh, who is being treated by the medical team. Samar tells him about a minor complication his wife, Lada, is experiencing. Then, Singh tells Samar to relieve him after his treatment. However, Samar informs him that he is also relieved from the unit. Singh then calls the colonel and is informed that he is relieved of insubordination. Even though Singh explains what happened in the temple, the colonel has already decided. In the meantime, Singh is left inside the tent and listens to the soldiers' radios on the mission. Because he didn't hear any response from Samar on the radio, he thinks he's already dead due to the grenade explosion. After that, he realizes there's a mole, so even if he's relieved, he gets a rifle and goes outside to find it. While Singh is searching, he hears a phone conversation near the store and sees the father reporting to the terrorists. Meanwhile, at the terrorist camp, a hostage named Muzan approaches the terrorists to try and convince them to stop killing the hostages. However, Iqbal stabs him in the neck and kills him in response. After that, Singh brings the father inside the tent and interrogates him. The father then explains that he has no choice because they will kill his son, Chintu, if he disobeys. Soon after, the colonel and the chief minister arrived at the tent. Singh tells them they have one last option and asks permission to send him back on the mission. On the other hand, Samar receives a phone call from his wife telling him that she has already delivered their baby. After the call, Samar feels relieved and dies. Meanwhile, the colonel sends Singh back and tells him to finish their mission. Singh uses the father as bait and orders him to tell the terrorists that the NSG is giving up and that they won't attack anymore. Back at the hostages, Chinta manages to untie himself and runs to escape. However, when his father runs to meet him, they both end up killed by Iqbal. Singh's plan fails, leading him to improvise. 
Rohit then sees him and joins in killing the remaining two terrorists. Then, Singh orders Rohit to go to the terrace while he goes inside the exhibit. On his way inside, he sees Harif pointing a gun at him, ready to shoot. Fortunately, the gun is empty, causing them to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Meanwhile, Hamza is at the border waiting for Neku's release. Hamza calls Iqbal to execute the last part of their plan, which is to bomb the temple, but before Iqbal can do it, Rohit comes up behind and fights him. In the temple, Singh kills Harif and Iqbal before activating the bomb. After that, Singh tells the base that all enemies are dead, then the headquarters immediately orders to stop Neku's release and kill him instead. Singh finishes their mission and successfully saves the hostages. The movie ends with the NSG and another special operation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this and help the channel grow.